Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another non league to Legend episode and today we're not here with the game. We don't have a match today and I did mention in the last episode there was offers from clubs. Now we have been offered one of the clubs. Now before I show you what that club is if we try and just keep keep building up the uh, tension guys and you can guess in the comments who you think we're moving to. Obviously don't cheat and look at the next episode when it's out with the new <laughs> with, with the new thumbnail. That will completely take away the idea of doing it. But yeah, just leave a comment down below. Who do you think we're going to move to? I'm not going to give you any sort of hints. Uh, you know what the... Pr we'll actually show you what the league table's looking like. It might be a championship side. It might not be a championship side. So I'll show you what the Skybet championship's looking like. That is the table there. You can have a guess who you think's underperforming in that league table there, and who you think, you know, possibly could be championship. I'm not going to 100% tell you until you see it. Now the finances for MK Dons. We've had a nice little spell at the club. They're 3.4 million. We've turned around this club's fortunes. They were down in League One after getting relegated from the championship, and we took them over, got them back to the championship, and financially, if you look. At projection the club's doomed like they're gonna be minus a million 1.43 million pounds in debt by the end of this season they're gonna be down 7 million by the end of the next season down 13 million by the end of the following season and I will show you to the reason of why that is now they're paying back a bank loan they're paying back a chairman loan which is not helping the finances they also expenditure we how actually how do I get to the bit I need to get to uh club I think it's under club say we go to if, if it decides to press it there we go and we go to facilities they're paying are we still paying it we were paying it stadium oh we've bought our stadium we were paying like 400 grand a year for the stadium to put to play in stadium mk but it looks like we've now bought it off the council. So, yeah. that That's something the club didn't actually tell me happened. So I didn't actually know we bought the stadium. But nice to know. So they don't pay that anymore. But finances are looking really, really grim in this club. And as you can see, we took them over when they just got relegated. Bottom of the championship. Got them up into League One as champions. From League One, sorry, to the Premier League as champions. Or championship. Might get it right. <laughs> it's very late in the evening, guys. Just bear with. But yeah, it's not looking not looking like we're leaving them in a bad place. We brought them in a couple of good players. They got Louis Molden permanently. They've got Harrison Cleaver coming up through their academy. Nice little side we've left here at MK Dons. And I don't really. Part of me was tempted to stay for the season, but then the other part of me is like, I know that it's not going to go ideally. We're not going to cheese it and send these players back from their loans because I don't feel that's fair. I think I can. Oh, I can't anyway. That's good. I wouldn't think that would be fair. So we're not going to do that. But as you can see, in the time we've been at the club, we've built ourselves a nice little team. They've got Chris Barnwell, who's going to be coming back here next season for them. Possibly as a League One club, because realistically, if you look at our schedule and you look at our form... That's not good enough to stay up. I mean, yeah, look, we started off well. We, well, we had two blips at the start. Then we went better. And we've just fallen apart since. So, yeah, I think I've built the tension long enough, guys. I'm going to show you who we're moving to. You ready? Yep, we are moving to Norwich City in the same division. They're a couple positions below us, but if you look at their transfer budget, they've got 18.67 million pounds. Wage budget, 750,000 pounds a week. We're just going to suggest those terms. I hope they're good enough. Cool. And if you compare that to what we currently have here at MK... Would you like to... Yes, I would. Does it say I've accepted it? It'd be nice if it said I accepted it. Uh, yeah, okay, we have accepted it. So before we change this page, as you can see here, oh, you can't see it. Yeah, 
Transfer budget, 616k here, £22,000 a week at this club. It's just, it's a massive step up. I know if you look at the competition, we are currently going to be below MK Dons, but only by point. And this Norwich's team is just so much better. I mean, yeah, it's just a better, it's a better job overall. So we are going to be leaving. Let's just say our final goodbyes to MK Dons. They've been good for us over this last year and maybe three months. I think I took them over in August, maybe. Or a year and four months. I've really enjoyed my time here. But it is time to move on. And we are going to press the button. We are progressing to Norwich City. A former Premier League side. A side with a lot of money. Relegated from the Premier League last season. And they've just got a very, very good little team. If you go to the obligations, they've got Gabbiadini on loan with a potential future fee. Is that a mandatory one? No idea. We've loaned out some players. We've loaned in him. Da -da 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 -da. A lot of players there. But we will just have a little look around this club. There'll be no matches played in today's game. But we will be bringing you the Millwall game as our first game in charge. Players currently unhappy. Scott Pollock's unhappy, but we'll have a chat with him if we can. I'd like to keep him around. Uh, concerns, happiness, wants to leave due to the club getting relegated. This is a new resume and a lot of things are going to change around here. I think you should give a few weeks. Da -da 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 -da. I can't wait that long, I'm afraid. This is my career we're talking about. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, but... but you're staying here. You have to get used to it. You're being unprofessional, and I don't know why you're discussing this. Nobody is currently interested in you, and I'm not going to sit here and talk. That's fair enough. Okay. Good. Well, that shut him up for a minute. So, welcome to Norwich City. We're going to attend the meeting. Yeah, this is the standard questions. Do I want to learn more about Norwich? Why not? Yeah, why not? And I will worry about that another time. So just get that standard crap out of the way. We're not going to mess around, I don't think, and change dynamics and, you know, mess around with all this. So we'll just leave it as it is. A club background. They've won the Skybet Championship three times. Carabao Cup twice. Skybet League won once. Southern... League Premier Division twice and English Third Division South once. Now Norwich are a good little side and we do play at Carrow Road which is a decent little sized stadium. 27.359 thousand fans can go in there so it's nice under so soil heating too. We've got four star youth facilities and four and a half star training facilities. So I'm really excited now if we go to one of the main things here, uh, scouting budget, do we have one? Senior package Europe and youth package Europe, that's fine with me. Now let's go to team report a minute, squad depth, we'll ignore that for now. We're not going to play 4-4-2, obviously not. They recommend the 4-1-4-1 with the wingers. Maybe? Maybe, um, uh, maybe, 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 I'm not sure. So we've got a three star, three of them, strikers, which is fine, we can live with. We've got Dadasov, 24 year old Azari, where the hell is that? Don't know, but he's got very good finishing, so he's a good striker to have about the place, which is good. Good finishing on this Anthony Cupid guy. Manuel Gabardini, we know what he can offer us. This winger out here is a left-sided winger from Malta. Has he got any pace? He's got a little bit of pace. He can pass. He's not an inside forward because he can't shoot. So he's probably a winger. Okie dokie. What about Pozzo? Okay, right. And Scott Pollock's our best midfielder. With Barisha just in behind him. The Koso, uh, the Kosovo, 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 yeah, Kosovo. International. He looks a very good player to have around the place. 
Got defensive midfielder of Ben Pearson. Liam Moore is our best defender with Grant Hanley just in behind him. Bidwell is our left back, Jake Bidwell. Right back is Matt Doherty, formerly of Wolverhampton. Sam Byram's there as well. We got this guy on loan from a Turkish club. I can just tell from his name. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. And who's our keeper? We got Andreas and Dornbush. Dornbush. So, okay, it's looking like a decent little side. If we look at our club finances right now, £70 million in the bank. They've lost £7 million this month, which is worrying. They're massively in trouble with the wage budget, so let's see if we can change that, because we'd rather not be in trouble with the wage budget, so that's fine with me. Let's look at debts and loans. Is there any? Nope. Perfect. Uh, expenditure... Wait, this is why I want projection. Now, if we don't get promoted to the Premier League, we are going to steadily lose money. So I would say we do need to get promotion soon as, really. But it looks like a good little side that we've taken over. I'm looking forward to getting into it and giving it a go and seeing what we can do. But ladies and gentlemen, that's where we're going to leave today's episode. I hope you're excited for our new club. I'm looking forward to it. I am buzzing for a new challenge. MK Dons, I took them as far as they could go. I couldn't get them any further. I knew that. I knew full well the club was financially in trouble, even if I got them promoted last season. But we are now at Norwich City. Good finances, and I mean, if we can get ourselves promoted, we got we got the step, we got the base here, the starting base to get promoted to the Premier League. All we've got to do is just add a couple of things, get the right tactics in place, get the right formation going, get the right players, just to. Just to finalise, just to put the little cherry on top of what we've currently got here. I'm looking forward to this. I think this could be the club that gets us to the Premier League. And I hope you guys are excited. Now, if you're new around here, please subscribe for more. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. If, and I've been Chris12LFC and I will see you later.